Hoffman, welcome back to Weekend Edition. This is Rehash, where we recap the big stories of the week. And ladies first. So Issa, you have to go first. What was the big story for you? <laughs> okay, well this week one story, I covered a lot of fest pack related uh, stories. So one, uh, we know everyone's gathering their resources. It's only 60 days away, less than 60 days away. So people raised concerns that Death Corps officers were working on duty at the SEO, building huts. And we did a little investigating and found out that it was actually true. Death Corps officers were on duty working, building the huts. However, they were not getting hazardous pay and they were not getting overtime pay, but they were getting paid. And so, uh, you know, this is all, like, all the government agencies are just working together to get this done. Nate tonight did say that he's not sure about the specifics of the situation, but with FESPAC 60 days out, they're doing everything they can to prepare Guam for this huge regional event. And speaking of FESPAC, I talked to the Attorney General of Guam this weekend. She said she's confident that Guam could pull this off within 60 days if they do everything within the government properly and stuff like that. And But I was actually speaking with her regarding uh, medicinal marijuana. Um, as you remember, it was like last year when the uh, public health gave uh, the AG the rules and regs for medicinal marijuana to review. And it's taken some time, but we spoke of her this week and she said they're very close to being done. I, I think they hope to submit it in the next couple of days to the, to back, back to public health. And she was saying it's a long and tedious process, but you know, this is the first time Guam has done something like this. So they want to ensure that it's done right. And you know, Guam doesn't have an industry for this. So they want to ensure like uh, cultivation and um, leases and laboratories, they all fall in line with each other. So yeah, we, we should be expecting that, expecting that in the next few days. And this is a perfect segue to my story because I actually covered um, a former teacher, a former JRMS teacher, that's Jose Rios Middle School in PD. He was caught with 121 marijuana plants, all of varying stages of growth from seedlings to mature plants, in two houses, in two PD houses he's tied to. So his name is Vincent John Kitigua. He appeared in federal court uh, the, over the week, and he uh, pleaded not guilty to the charges. He's represented by attorney Howard Trapp. And again, uh, what the court documents said was that he told police or investigators that, hey, he was getting ready to be a to be a licensed grower, he just happened to be a little too soon. Or we're not there yet. <laughs> we're not there yet. So well, he might know, be one step he had, ahead. He had really good government. reason, or not re good reason, but it was back in 2014 when it was passed. So people have been, been waiting so for a long time well. for this. 121 marijuana plants. Hmm. How about you, Jason? Well, what I was working on this week had nothing to do with <laughs> marijuana, which I guess is a good thing. Uh, but peddling back to everything that we're doing with FESPAC, um, Sabrina has been working on this series that, of course, um, shows on TV at Wednesday nights every 6.30, es Storiata, it means our story, and she's basically profiling the various delegates that make up our Festival of Pacific Arts um, team, so the, the Team Guam approach, and you know, like this week she did uh, the group that's producing theatrical presentations, and uh, last week she did something on carving and weaving and stuff like that. So it's a real chance for everybody to get a really good look at and become aware of and get to know uh, the people who will be representing our island and sharing our way, our culture with everybody else. But you know, that's all over YouTube, it's on Facebook, it's in the app, it's on the web and everything like that. It's getting a really good response and it's letting people know exactly who's going to be promoting us to the rest of the world. And speaking of social media, that's probably the best way you can reach us. A lot of our news tips are coming from you at home. The pictures, we love it. Any news tips, you can you can email us at reporters at kwm.com, Facebook, Instagram, we're there, we're everywhere. And the Snapchat thing, we, we must add before we go, we had a contest of Batman versus Superman. Those snaps that you guys were sending us were incredible. They were really, really, really creative. Okay. Well, uh, more when Weekend Edition returns.